Okay, good afternoon, everybody. The photo that you see here has to do with Walter McMillan. Walter McMillan was convicted and sentenced to death for a murder of an 18-year-old clerk at a dry cleaning store in Mooreville, Alabama. Three witnesses gave false testimonies about him and the alibis that he had about being at church were ignored. Eventually, after spending six years on death row for the crime that he did not commit, he was found innocent and had the charge against him ultimately dropped. Now imagine if this father, loving person in his community and husband was actually killed due to a crime that he did not actually commit for evidence that actually did not ever place him at the scene of the crime or that would have made him a suspect for the murder, but it is obvious that he was chosen due to the color of his skin and the racial group that he belonged to, which is an ongoing issue in the US. Although we, it may be hard to change this ongoing racial issue that we have in the US, it is better to say that it will be safer for people of these racial groups if the death penalty were ultimately abolished. That way they wouldn't have to face the idea or the fact that they might actually go to jail or be killed for a crime that they did not commit. The death penalty is inhumane and can harm certain racial groups more than others. And our criminal justice system has not always proven to be effective. So dealing with something that's death, which is a permanent solution, it makes no sense to have that unless we have ultimately 100% positive results in convicting people for death. Now, when we look into it, African-Americans and other racial groups only make about 13% of the populations, but Black people make over 40% of the prisoners with a death sentence. Black people are also four times more likely to be convicted on death row than someone who is white in per se. This shows another inequality in our justice system, which isn't fair to everybody, which in the US, the idea is so that everybody is equal and everybody has equal rights and has equal representation, especially in the courtroom. If you can be targeted just for the color of your skin, it will be more comfortably knowing that you won't possibly be put up for death one day just because of the racial group that you belong in and for being at the wrong place at the wrong time, or even like in Walter McMillan's case, being false, completely falsely accused of a crime. Secondly, when we talk about the justice system, there have been times where innocent people were often sentenced to death. Since 1974, more than 156 people have been released from death row in 26 states due to innocence. That is 26 people, that is 156 people that have been released. It only talks about the people that have been released due to their innocence. And it says at least one person in the, is exonerated for every 10 that is executed. So for these 156 people that were released, about 1,560 were brutally murdered, whether they were found innocent or not. Even if in cases, say if you're found innocent, but it's too late, the death penalty, once someone is dead, it cannot be reversed. So it makes no sense as to having this in our justice system. And lastly, but not least, procedures don't always go as smoothly. But first, here is the graph on the U.S. population, how it shows where whites make up about over 60% of the population, basically doubling and tripling the amount of Black and Hispanics, where when you look at the death row population, it's neck and neck between white and Blacks. When Blacks make up the least, but the death row rates are almost similar because that's just how many more Black people are getting put on death row than whites. And lastly, but not least, these procedures don't always go smoothly. In the United States, research shows that 3% of executions between 1890 and 2010 were botched, leaving citizens sometimes in pain. And one person ended up, oh, the image didn't appear for some reason, but there was one killer who ended up with an injection into his hand where it showed his skin peeling off and he was in severe pain. And even though through that, nothing happened and he was still sentenced to death and they had to redo the process another time. The opposing side may argue that 
removing the death sentence may cause people to commit more crimes. But if we look into states as Texas, which is a large state and the states that has the most death penalties being given out, crime actually has never actually decreased since they imposed a death penalty. And it actually has one of the highest crime rates out of all 50 states in the United States and out of all 50 states in the US. So as a result, it is inhumane and ineffective and wrong to impose the death penalty in our criminal justice system. Thank you for your time.